All right. <clears throat> Are we all back? Okay, so please let's log into our PCs. Are we all logged in now? All of them. So what I need you to do now is simple. I want you to add a supplier. Do you remember how to add a supplier? How do we do that? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Mm hmm. So we go to suppliers, we go to the list of suppliers, and then we can click on add supplier. Or, as you guys are saying, you can go to suppliers and then simply go add a supplier. Okay. Then what I want you to do is I want you to then fill in that information over there. Create your, your uh, supplier. So just copy and paste it. Yeah, you can you can actually name it whatever relation to your business. Whatever you think that you have to use that. That's going to give you the information. I want us to just play around with this stuff because then when I start to get onto new work, it's also like you know it's not brand new, or we, we have a good feel for how to navigate our way around around suppliers or customers and so forth. Opening balance, yeah, you can just say 10,000, or you can leave it blank, or you can say 6,000. In other words, do you owe this supply? Anything. If you don't owe them, then just make it zero. Credit limit, does, does this person give you a credit limit? Can you take out 10,000 of the stock without taking? Yeah, in that case, what they highlight is that we actually hold But now I see that the negative, so I think the supply will Yes, just ignore that. I'm just trying to get you to actually create supply. Now you can. Are we willing? Everybody 
Are we done? You hear what? Uh, it's this. This is their detail. This is their master file. Hollywood, yes, why not? Sorry? Yeah, why not? Why is there so many numbers? I don't know. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. So you just make a you copy it. Or you can use your blade. Yeah. Have we all created the supply now? Why? Why? I thought this is a copy and paste thing. Is this one? No, it's fine. The whole focus is so you guys know how to do it. Save this copy so you have your supplies with it. Okay. If you wanted to save and create another one, you would say save and use. Okay. But because obviously we're just creating this one, we'll say save. Okay.
Okay, guys, are you done? Now you can see your supply. Okay? You should have saved. Now, what I want us to do is can you see now where I'm going? Suppliers, then I'm going to transactions, then I want you to create a supplier invoice. Okay? So you click on supply invoices. All right, so this is somebody, somebody's quoting you, giving you an invoice, all right, for products that you need to purchase. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is not going to work. We, wait, actually, it could. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So actually, this is not going to work because we don't have something in items. But should we just try it? Let's see. Uh, I want you guys to first, before you do anything, are you on supply invoice? Okay, so I want you to go down to that table at the bottom and put in, try to put in items. Right, so I want you guys to go down to, if you look at that small table there, before you start entering information, can you see something over here? Right over here. Okay, so let me create this with you guys. Then I think you'll get what I'm trying to say. So here, you guys are here. You're at add an invoice. Okay. Then over here, I want you to come down to select an item or select item. Okay, click on that. You'll see there's a drop down that comes up. Now, you guys don't have anything there because you don't have items that have been created. Okay, so I want you to click on add new item. Okay, and again, you're going to make it up. Okay, so there you're going to insert the information. When they ask for code, yeah, so you're just going to put numbers there. You can actually even say, let's say if it's a bicycle, you can say bike and then O dash O2, for example. That's a code. Or, or you can actually just say B dash O2. Because bike, that's a whole name. Okay. So what I'm showing you here is if you want to create an invoice for a supplier, but you haven't yet done anything with your items, right? Haven't yet posted all the products and stuff like that, then 
it becomes a problem where you just have to, not a problem, but you just have to create that first. Because we can't invoice on something that we haven't created a price for. Does that make sense? And so forth. So right? We still in order to create an invoice, we either need to make a service or product that's created first. Or we can say I bought these goods for one or ten to buy these goods this these sorts of flash. Guys, use your creativity. Okay. So have we created that product? Okay, once you create the product, continue to create the invoice. So I'm going to help you just in terms of... Uh, Giving you the details on the already existing invoice just to kind of guide you. Okay, so there's your information. Can you see the number of products that have been purchased on this invoice? Okay. But you just have that one, which is fine, okay? So I just want you to copy this information. Okay, and then you just click on your save button at the bottom there. See, you could even create more items if you wanted to, but don't do that because we don't want to waste more time on this. It's fine. If you already made it, it's fine. Just leave it. Okay, are we done there? Have we saved our invoice? Are we done? Okay, so the next thing that I want you to do is now to create a product. Okay, but before we go there, can you see now, if you wanted to give a, get a supplier uh, purchase order, you just go suppliers, transactions, all right? We just created an invoice. You had a return that you wanted to create. You just go supplier, returns. Uh, if you uh, want to notify a supplier that you made a payment, and obviously you just create supply payments, right? Allocating. So all our transactions, everything, any transaction that we're doing with the supplier, it's all here. Does that make sense? So I'm just trying to show you the stuff we were speaking about online, but now practically now you can see you can do it within your company. Okay. Then reports is also there. All right. 
So I'm sure I don't even need to jump into all this stuff. Okay. Um, so go over the videos again when you have time and then also come back to here. All right. Just to familiarize yourself. Have we created those profiles with Sage? Have we managed to get that sorted out? Okay, I'm seeing quite a few head nods. Is that everyone? Yes? You haven't? You have? You haven't? I'm not sure. You're, you have? Okay, sweet stuff. Jasmine, yes? You haven't? Okay. Is it because they haven't emailed you? Have you spoken to student support? What did they say? Is it? Mm, okay. Try try speak to them since you're on campus now and hear what they have to say. Um, yes. You? Okay, this is just work. Okay. So yes. Yeah. The sage where you get the actual slide. Sage University. Oh, this one is not, it's nothing. So this is just creating a problem for you to practice. Yeah. Okay, guys, so. All right, have you added an item, guys? Have you created a product or a service for your company? Have you created a product or a service for your company? Okay, there you can see my VAT rate is 14%, but don't worry about that. For yourselves, um, it's going to be 15% because this is like the demo company. Nah, just one or two is fine. <clears throat> okay, so if you if you created a service, then you just go services purchases on the purchases account. Okay, um, is everybody good on that now? Have we managed to create our product or service? Yeah, but if you have already added like two, then that's fine. You don't need to keep on adding. Okay, now what I want you guys to do is if we go to transactions and you go to tax invoice, customer, sorry, if we go to customers, 
then we go to transactions right then you go to customer tax invoice invoices actually then I want you to guys to click on add a tax invoice again can you see something interesting for you guys you don't have this drop down of customers okay because remember you just created your company so you don't have customers yet okay so you can quickly click on add a customer okay all right to create the invoice or you can click on customers and then go to add a customer all right which is what i want you to do so let's create one or two customers first Okay, so it's going to take you to this page right here. You, you're saying, can you choose the cash sale? Yeah, that's fine. Just means that they didn't. That customer didn't pay on ca on credit. They paid for cash. That's okay. Yeah, you can. No problem. Okay, then uh, once you've uh, made two customers, what I then want you to do is to then create those invoices. And I'm just going to put up. Just going to put up one of these invoices just as an example. I'm coming back. A sales rep, that's your sales consultant or your sales agent, somebody who sells on your behalf. Yeah, your products or services.
Struggling to stay awake. Okay. Right, guys. So I, I'm sure now you can see how easy it is to navigate Sage. Okay. That these things that we were talking about are not rocket science. Okay? Um so the one guy you were saying that Sage didn't actually email you. They didn't actually email you. Not at all. So how did you get access into the You paid a lot and then you use those same details? Yeah. So guys, those of you who haven't, try try to what he say. Try just use your if I this is assuming you paid wise books right and then just try and log into the sage university for the software That would actually make a lot of sense. Not this thing of sitting right here. 
Have you guys charged your customers? Have you created a tax invoice for your customers? Yes, sir. Some of you guys actually like got second hand books for sale. So I'm guessing now you're coming to the No, you got the manual. You're going to get the soft copy manual. So you know. Everybody, everybody, everybody good. I to charge. And then you must be so. Okay, guys, so I think uh, this has just been a I think this has been a decent recap just in terms of everything we've done thus far, right? We've, we basically reviewed, okay, how do we deal with things and items, our products, okay? Same thing with suppliers, all right? Then same thing with your customers, okay? So for your homework, this is what I want to give you as your homework. I want you, you saw those files that I said you must download from DC Learn. I want you to upload those files into your Sage profile. Okay. I want you to upload those CSV files. If you can't figure it out, then you must go onto YouTube and have a look and see is there something that can give me some guidance on how to go. Please remember your passwords. If your passwords were not password one or password at one. Okay, please make sure you remember those passwords. Okay. Right. Otherwise, is there any questions, thoughts, concerns? 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. I think I do have a session with you guys tomorrow, right? Online, online. online yes. Okay, we're going to continue with content.